friends welcome to the new leaf my name is rujana yadav today i would want to discuss the bihar elections and the recent developments in bihar elections according to the election commission of india the ele- the polling process in bihar is going to happen in three phases starting from october 28th the state of bihar elections for the state legislative assembly is go- is happening across 243 constituencies in the, in the state having said this the electioneering and the election fever are is at its peak adding to that what drew the attention of the national media and everyone across the country is the bjp released its manifesto and the promise that it said that it is going to give free covid-19 vaccine in the state for free of cost to all the citizens at this juncture one question that comes to my mind is this is quite untenable this is quite undoable because we do not have any tangible results on the vaccine trials one we do not also have any tangible deadlines that when the vaccine is going to be out and having said this apart from all of this we do not have a comprehensive national vaccine policy at this point in time so having known these facts and having understood the intricacies of the pandemic and at a peak of it this promise sounds quite untenable to me in in the similar lines rashtriya janata dal the political party in bihar also responded saying that bjp is trying to sell the fear of disease and death in the middle of a pandemic it really do not care about the health of the citizens and is in a hurry to conduct elections and also create havoc in the middle of a pandemic having said this i would want to ask few questions the fundamental question is when we know that the pandemic is at peak and there are many things that have been postponed past 8 7 to 8 months so what is the urgency or the need for the elections to happen at this point in time where there is tangible health crisis in the state of bihar and also across the country more specifically the what are the political reasons that drove to take this decision and to we all know that during the election electioneering is a big process the conduct the conducting of election is also a huge exercise having known this and having the previous experience of conducting elections at massive scale at this point in time it is all the more difficult to maintain the covid management norms ensure social distancing and also taking care of the patients who are actually going through covid 19 having said this did we actually have enough debate about how, what are the other alternative ways of voting did we even mull over those things about how to take care of the health of the citizens who are going to come for the voting do we have a differential policies in terms of voting do we actually have the enough infrastructure to ramp up to address the issues of covid-19 for conducting elections having said this we all also know that bihar is one of the first states to close down all covid facilities operated by government in june this only adds more problem to the existing crisis and having said this the lowest testing rates are recorded in bihar the health infrastructure is very poor as i mentioned before and most importantly we have seen gut wrenching and highly unsettling movie uh, unsettling scenes pictures videos of many migrants across the country traveling back to their traveling back to their states so in this backdrop of migrants coming back from different parts of the country to their own states to the, to their own native places in bihar what are the migrant policies that that the government had to take care of the health concerns of these particular group of people having not addressing these tangible uh, tangible concerns to what extent the conducting of elections or the call of such elections would be successful is something that we all have to question at this point in time apart from this bihar has also been in uh, been in news for the most infamous deaths of many children 2 years ago with encephalitis we've also heard for we've also known that there is this very poor spending on health there is huge democ- there is huge development deficit and apart from this there is rampant unemployment that is present in the state of bihar so having understood the concerns and trying to address these questions randomly giving a poll promise which is absolutely populist which is not very scientific which is also not being informed of the citizens that what they are supposed to do in times of a pandemic is absolutely confusing and it will only push the citizens of bihar into more chaos so to have a free and fair elections to make citizens equal part of the democratic process it is all the more important not to just make them mere participant in the process but to make them informed deci- informed citizens to make informed decisions so that the development questions that all the citizens are going through will be addressed in a more effective manner thank you